Vietnam um, to Open Belgium, a digital version this year. Um, and I want to quickly thank our three main sponsors, Mono Design, Microsoft and Agentschap Binnenlands Bestuur. Um, but then now I want to give the floor to Frank and Emily. Thank you, Astrid. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you, uh, Esrit. Uh, well, welcome to everyone uh, in this uh, session about ethics in, in action. Uh, we have uh, 14 uh, users. I see. Oh, welcome, Bart is again coming. Welcome, Gail. Welcome, Geert. Welcome, Geert. This is the second Geert. Uh, <laughs> and welcome, Ainari. The rest I had already. Good that you are here. And uh, well, we're just going through, we have three quarters about ethics in action and the responsible use of location data. And uh, well, we're going to do some things because we are going in action. So I hope you like it. Uh, but first we start our presentation. Even kijken, let's see. Yeah, thank you, uh, Emily. Emily, I'm here with uh, with Emily Dame, and we are doing. Uh, we will introduce ourselves later before you can introduce yourself. Uh, yeah. We are here at uh, Open Belgium, and uh, we have. I, I just told Astrid this is our. Uh, uh, yeah, five years ago we were. It was the first time we were in. Uh, in Belgium with the data derby, Belgium versus the Netherlands. And uh, we were here four times in the last uh, five years. And it was really, really great. And I will show you some impressions of what we did. Um, I had this um, the next time. Um, yeah, in 2016, uh, I hope as well. Uh, let, uh, I, did, did some of you join uh, the data derby in 2016? Uh, please let know in the chat because uh, that was a really uh, yeah, re memorable uh, session. Uh, next, uh, please. Uh, where we, uh, amongst other things, uh, had, a, had a, a, a interviews with uh, Noel van Herwig and uh, Paul Suikerberg, and we compared the Netherlands with, uh, with Belgium. And uh, that was really great. And we had also a very good uh, next. Uh, a very good after party and that was really in Antwerpen in the city hall it was really great and uh, with our t-shirts on and and the next uh, yes uh, uh, probably some of you know this guy i don't know him but uh, but i think uh, he set the tone and uh, it didn't uh, finish very good uh, with him but uh, he stole my t-shirt <laughs> that was also in uh, 2016. So uh, and uh, yeah, the after party was really good, and the after, after party uh, Emily next was also really uh, good. It was my colleague Mark uh, with whom I gave uh, the session. So it was really great in 2016. Uh, when next in uh, 2018, we were also in the north of Brussels. I don't know the, the place anymore, and uh, that was also cool. And we brought our uh, big uh, metal friend uh, with us. Uh, uh, and uh, in 2018, 19, Jochem, uh, my colleague, also uh, had a session about our work in the Netherlands, uh, about uh, going out and talk with people to, uh, yeah, to, to have good data projects. Uh, so, and today we are here again uh, with uh, Ethics uh, in Action. Um, and yeah, we are, uh, uh, yeah, I'm Frank Schoor, I'm with my colleague uh, Emily Dame. And Hello. we are. Hi, Emily. Oh, yes, yeah, Hi, Emily. <laughs> and um, um, what we do? Yeah, what is our work? And that's I think that's that's also interesting for you. We don't go through there and uh, through whole our work. But for example, we are working on the ethical framework uh, uh, in um, as together with Geo Novum in the Netherlands, probably. Some people of you do know it, and together with the Ministry of Internal Affairs, we are working on an ethical framework for uh, for the use of, of uh, responsible use of location data. And besides that, we also work for the uh, with the W3C, uh, where we also written uh, the, uh, a note on the responsible use of spatial data. The links are on the on this slide, and we will share it uh, with you so that you can uh, you can view the work uh, we did. And I think it's very useful. 
uh, uh, to, uh, uh, yeah, to to look at the, the, at this stuff. Um, the next. Um, yeah, uh, and we're going to work uh, today. Are there so far any questions? Because, um, okay, okay, I think, uh, what's the next, uh, Emily? Yeah, are there any questions? And because if you feel something, if you, you, you feel resistance or you have a question or you are enthusiastic, please share your findings, please ask questions if you want. Uh, because these are the the three most important values uh, when uh, 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 practicing uh, ethics uh, is it when you uh, that you speak up that you stand up and that you start the conversation uh, if we don't do that as data professionals uh, ethics won't go uh, any further so these are the most important things we uh, we discovered and it's not new but it's uh, really uh, uh, difficult um well uh, of course we also would like to meet you uh, today we have uh, uh, several times to use the mentimeter uh, and we also would like to ask you to fill in uh, the first uh, mentimeter question uh, 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 so that we get to know you uh, better so please uh, do that uh, emily is putting a link into the uh, into the uh, to the chat yeah so I, I shared a link. If you click on the link, then hopefully you will see this question. Uh, and feel free to select any of the options that apply to you. It's just a bit of fun <laughs> to get to know each other. Oh, the most okay. common answer is I have not been outside yet today. <laughs> that's a shame. Huh? Oh, that's the biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's very interesting to see. And and that's very interesting eh? because uh, six people say the sun is shining where I am. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most. And, and the other winner is uh, I have not been outside yet today. Yeah. And that's pretty sad. So <laughs> I think, uh, but, uh, that, but there will be uh light in the uh, in uh, uh in the tunnel <laughs> but that comes later uh and let's see doubt is my oh that's oh good uh, doubt is my best behavior and that's a very nice that six people also put in doubt is my best uh, uh be yeah, advisor uh uh my uh, doubt is also my middle name uh, I'm a professional doubter, and uh, that's one of the things why people ask me to do some ethical stuff. So that's really, uh, really great. And uh, yeah, I often also have honestly have no idea. So uh, uh, and one of my uh, greatest uh, challenges is uh, to speak that out, uh, to say that I have to, I don't have an idea. So great. Uh, thanks for your input. Um... Yep. Well, that's the first thing. Anyone have questions about this or want to to uh, to say something about what they fill filled in filled in? Uh, if you have so, speak up. Uh, anyone yet? Okay, there we go. We are what we are going to do because uh, and it's very good that people don't went out yet because uh, I think that's what we are going to do uh, today uh, in this session. It's a little bit of an, uh, this, uh, we call it the Great Green Belgium Experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, make Belgium open again uh, because uh, we're going to collect some data and we are very uh, curious about how green is your neighborhood. So we're going to collect data of your neighborhood and how green that is. And uh, our question to you is, go outside to let us know. And how do we do that? Take a photo of something that symbolizes the greenness of your neighborhood. And you are feeling free to take a selfie of that. And then we ask you to share it on Twitter. If you have Twitter, uh, if you don't, 
uh, don't share it or share it other way, but if you share it on Twitter at hashtag OpenBelgium21. And if you want to do that also uh, at your location, uh, that can be, so I am in Utrecht, so I make a, a picture of myself about the greenness in my neighborhood. And then I say, well, in my, this is my neighborhood, the greenness of my neighborhood uh, in Utrecht. So that's uh, the first uh, uh, assignment uh, to you. So feel free to go into the sun or in the rain or whatever <laughs> and, uh, to, and see you back in uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, so just take a photo of anything that you think symbolizes the greenness of your neighborhood. Now, we do this now? Yes, yeah, please. We do this now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so you have 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show the slides, please, so I can uh, send my tweet?
Okay, how is everyone going? It's uh, the, the hashtag is hashtag Bel Open Belgium 21, is it it, Astrid? Have you had the time to bring out uh, Emily? Did you have the time, Emily? Yeah. We uh, got another three minutes, I think. <laughs> another three minutes. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Did you manage to do it, Frank? Sorry? Did you manage to do it? Yes, I managed to do it. I went outside, take a picture, I saw something went uh, wrong, but, but I've, uh, yeah, I managed to do it. <laughs> Not my best picture, I see. <laughs> I see some other one. Uh, uh, Bart Dilt also um, has, uh, has a, a nice picture of his neighborhood, which is very wet. No. Uh, and also uh, green. That's really cool, and that's in uh, in Groot Bergaarde. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. But until now, only uh, if I let's see, only Bart and I uh, sh shared the picture, and that's okay. Yeah, that's that's. Uh... Oh, here, there. Oh, what's that? Something here also. <laughs> Also, I see uh, a green uh, that's very nice. Uh, I was uh, someone who, who, who um, made a picture of uh, the tram uh, rails, which also is green. So that's ah, also very nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's very, uh, very interesting what is, what is green. That was something, uh, where if, you, if you ask something where to make a uh, picture of the green, is, okay, what is green? Is it, are the trees or is it a green door or are it green cars or is it uh, 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 solar cells which uh, make people green? So uh, when we ask this question, it's really uh, interesting what, what, what represents the greenness of your, uh, your area. So I think um, uh, yeah, we still wait. To, uh, how many time do we still have, uh, Emily? The time is done. Time is done. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you're there. Okay. Great. 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 I have seen. The, okay. Uh, okay. Other things. Uh, great. Uh, <laughs> uh, there, there came some uh, pictures uh, along. Uh, on the Twitter. So thank you very much, everyone who went outside. Um, and uh, oh, he, I also can tweet. Sounds like we're oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait a second. Some people cannot tweet. It's okay. It's okay. Rineke and Ilse zijn aan typen. Ah, nice. Even kijken. Oh, Jess, back gelukt. Oké, okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can also i don't know if you can maybe try and send the picture in the chat or i'm not sure what, what's possible but yeah feel free to share your pictures yeah and what um okay so i think i give news award to you uh, emily is it yeah well now now that you're all back hopefully we're quite curious about what you found um so uh, i'll share the link of the Mentimeter again in the chat, please go to the to the Mentimeter. Um, and then I have the first question for you. Uh, what were your initial thoughts or questions when completing or not completing, it doesn't matter, uh, the exercise? What did you think? It can be ethics related or not. <laughs> we're just curious. Not too eager to share my exact location, that's understandable. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, please fill in uh, what were your uh, initial pills uh, when, uh, when complete, completing the exercise. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> I will take a picture of my neighbors. That's nice. <laughs> Must be very green. <laughs> okay, cool. This is really, yeah, please share. If you are, if you are typing, please go on. Um, and uh, not, not too eager to share my exact location, exactly. Uh, to find uh, uh, shoes, of course. Uh, I don't have Twitter. That's also uh, that's also very interesting because not everyone has Twitter uh, or uh, or a Corona app or whatever. Uh, 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 what will you do with my location data exactly? Uh, I will take a picture of my neighbors. Really cool. How precise the location data should be? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do the picture. Okay, but what's the pre what without a precise location? Uh, did want to share location metadata of my home? Yeah, careful. Yeah, oh, that's really cool. Is there someone uh, wants to uh, to give some uh, additional information about how you experienced uh, uh, this ex this experience experiment? I hear someone very uh, noisy behind. Is that uh, for you also? I don't hear anything. Oh, okay. Uh, is, is there someone who wants to share his uh, findings besides this? Again, what, what, uh, okay, and this, uh, um, um, uh, also for the, such a simple uh, uh, experiment as this, uh, what we see here is that there are, are already a lot of questions uh, rising and a lot of thoughts. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that's one of the most important uh, uh, messages uh, also for today, but also in all projects, is to share their thoughts and that also the people you work with ask, hey, what are your thoughts, what do you think, where are your doubts, why are you doing this, why are you don't doing this? So this is uh, very cool. And we have another question, uh, Emily? Yeah, yeah, it's interesting to see that most of the thoughts are about the location data uh, worries. And not so much about maybe the exercise itself or other aspects. The next questions are related more to other aspects. Um, we're wondering how responsibly you conducted the exercise. So here there's a scale and you can choose from zero to 10 with not at all being zero and absolutely being 10. Um, please make your way through the statements and let us know what you think. The first statement is my findings are out in the open. The second statement is I shared my findings transparently. Third one is my findings show a good representation of my neighborhood. The fourth one is all the data I collected are relevant to the question. And the last one is I asked others from my neighborhood for input. Oh, 
Okay, anyone uh, still? We have six respondents. Oh, eight, cool. Which average do you think makes it uh, ethically okay, Frank? <laughs> Sorry? What do you think the average should be for this experiment to be conducted ethically? Well, I think this is very good, uh, a good uh, uh, average. Uh, 5.8, yeah. 5. <laughs> uh, with 5.8 you pass your exam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's very cool. Uh, this, uh, people say, well, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, my uh, uh, all the data I collected are relevant for the question. Uh, this is seven. Uh, my findings show good representation of my neighborhood. Uh, this is all also in the projects we do uh, questions we are going to to live through for whether uh, is it are we open yes or no? Uh, 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 did I share transparently what I do and what I did? Um, uh, but but uh, uh, is the data I collect relevant for the question? Uh, and what's interesting, of course, and it's a very short time, uh, I asked others from my neighborhood for input. Uh, and that's, that's uh, no one did it, I can imagine. Uh, it's 10 minutes, so who, who, do you, who do you meet in this uh, one and a half meter uh, society? <laughs> so yeah. I can imagine. Um, but this is, this is very nice that people, of course, thanks for filling in and thanks for making the picture. Is there anyone who want to uh, to who want to react on this, or someone to share or to to say something about this? Or can I ask a question? These yeah. these first two, my findings are out in the open. What do you mean exactly with this? What's the yeah. exact that's question? A, that's a great question. Um, the idea is that, uh, so we asked a question, how green is your neighborhood and whatever you found, uh, your data or your interpretation or your, your uh, whatever your findings were, the question is, are they out in the open? I mean, if you shared it on Twitter, does that mean that everyone can access it? Um, and then the transparency uh, question is more related to how well did you explain your findings? So you might have posted a, a picture with your location on Twitter, but did you explain why you why you did that? Um, what it's supposed to represent? Um, maybe your bias uh, in the picture? Um, those are the kind of things behind those two statements. Thank you, uh, Astrid, for, for asking. Uh, anyone else uh, questions about this uh, uh, the results of this experiment? Okay, then we go uh, further. Yeah. Uh, because this is not uh, uh, the the the. Uh, this is also. Uh, uh, um, I'm going. To, to, uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, uh, to to the values we normally uh, use and um, uh, now what we have experienced and we did a lot of workshops with all kind of uh, of projects uh, and that uh, responsible data and data projects uh, that they have to be uh, radically open and transparent uh, that um, uh, that you share everything you do with the data uh, your findings uh, the things you you uh, you, uh, you work on uh, and that and, and that you be transparent about that uh, that you be justly proposeful uh, that you have a, a, a very good purpose and that you first set the purpose and then collect the data, not otherwise. That is uh, uh, the question, uh, the purpose uh, 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 gives direction to the data. Uh, and that also the data gives an honest reflection of your reality uh, this, um, and of the, the, your reali the reality you need for your question. Um, and something also important that Oh, wait a second. Um, um, everyone is inclusi inclus inclusively engaged eh, with the relevant uh, community. Uh, uh, and it's very important that you engage people. Eh? We experience that when you engage your, and, and not only uh, uh, companies, but also uh, citizens or other stakeholders uh, to engage with your project. And what we experience is that that almost never happens. 
And because they thought, well, we first do an experiment, we do a pilot, and then we're going outside, we will be open and we will uh, engage people. But you have to do that by design. As that's our experience. Uh, and of course, the thing you do is to be trustworthy and secure. Um, uh, and otherwise, that you also be accountable. But these are all abstract uh, uh, values, but what we see is where and every project is different. Uh, every uh, um, uh, use of data is different. So every time you have to fill in these values and every time you have to live through these values with the team, with your stakeholders, uh, and for every project there will be different outcomes. So uh, what we are going to ask you, and then I go to Emily, Mm -hmm. This is the last time for the Mentimeter. Yeah. Uh, what we want to ask you: uh, which principle, uh, which which principle uh, plays a key role in your work? Uh, if you see these principles, which one is a, plays a key role in your work? And then we have a discussion about that. Hopefully all of them play a role in your work, <laughs> but um, yeah, it must be it was just curious to see if you can choose one, which one you think is the most important. People are filling in, really cool. 11 people already, so that's without, oh, that's very good. Thank you for joining and for uh, participating because it's really cool that you all fill in, had to fill in this. Um, we see a couple of, uh, uh, one is radically open and transparent and uh, uh, trustworthy and secure. It's also, uh, that's, that's the one with the most uh, votes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and then uh, uh, inclusively engaged with the relevant community. And what's also interesting, of course, are the others. So uh, I would like to ask the person who said other uh, to, uh, to give a uh, explanation about uh, what the other is. Please put on your your microphone. If you, do you want to uh, uh, to explain uh, the the other? I think she added an explanation in the chat. Okay. Oh, Rieke. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't you have the legal principles, uh, Rieke? Yeah. The legal principles. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, yeah, oh, the GDPR in, uh, principles. Yeah, that's very interesting, um, uh, and that's that's correct and that's true. And uh, something we have uh, experienced also last year is that we had a, a large uh, framework published and asked for consultation. And uh, what people often say, well, you have to you have to separate ethics and legal and law. Uh, uh, because ethics goes beyond the law and uh, what what we have tried to do in our new version is to separate ethics and law uh, we pinpoint law and then say well, okay what is ethically uh, responsible yeah and in regards uh, to the GDPR um, we see privacy as something that falls within being radically open and transparent because of course, um, privacy is a, a very big aspect of that. And the question is, um, you should be open unless, and privacy is a major reason for unless, but we like to see it under the yeah. uh, main principle of being open and transparent. Yeah, yeah and another thing is that, that, uh, that, uh, that, that what we see now is that 
the collection of personal location data through apps or that kind of stuff uh, is, is now a very easy to do. And, and people say by default, uh, uh, give their permission for everything. And all that stuff is within the law because that's a checklist. And they say, okay, we, we, we fulfill the law. Uh, but from an ethical perspective, uh, you shouldn't organize it like that. And so that's something we want to, uh, uh, yeah, we want, we like to manage also in the Netherlands. Okay, yeah. thank you, uh, Rineke, for this question. Is there some, someone who wants to, um, uh, to give uh, um, an explanation of, of the choice of uh, radically open and transparent? Or another one. If someone want to uh, give an explanation to his, so for his or her choice, I can't read. I can't see the chat because I'm sharing my screen. But feel free to write things in there if you like. <laughs> yeah, Joran is typing. <laughs> you can also speak through your microphone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ja, hij is een open data manager van de city of Gent. Wel, welkom Joren, dat is really cool. Uh, Gent is een really open city also. Uh, we've been there, uh, also with the OKF uh, in Gent. Ja, uh, yeah, so. En Astrid is also typing. Shall I, shall we go to the next question? Ja, yeah, that's oké. Okay. Is that the last yeah. question of niet, uh, Emily? Uh, two more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we go to the next. Okay, yeah, that's also interesting. Which principle is most often forgotten uh, or ignored in your work? Yeah, that's true, but uh, I agree. Uh, there's some kind of overlap between accountable and radically open and transparent. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you are radical, open, and transparent, you are accountable. That's true. Yeah. So, this is the next question. That makes sense. That the ones that I, that got the least votes in the last question will get the most votes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yeah, exactly. We will still one. Okay, yeah, this is, of course, this is, this is uh, interesting. Uh, in the, indeed, radically open and transparent and trustworthy and secure, uh, the, the, the isn't forgotten. And, and uh, uh, privacy and security are always items. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, to be inclusive and, and uh, engaging with the community is always uh, secondary. And that's a pity because it should be and that is what, in our opinion, should be uh, the first thing to do, is to engage with your surroundings. Uh, and in the need, uh, accountable, to be accountable is also uh, yeah, confirming uh, our experience in the, all the workshops uh, we did. Um, if someone want to, uh, uh, to explain his or her choice? Yeah, maybe. I'm also curious uh, whether you realize that you were forgetting these principles or if this is something new for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, 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 like, uh, if, if you recognize they are forgotten, you can also uh, bring them in. Yeah. That's well, that's interesting. Oh, thank you, Astrid. Uh, you uh, at uh, the, the OKBE is an umbrella organization. Uh, so I see inclusive engagement as our main job. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And and Astrid, do you want to to say a little bit about how are you doing that? The inclusive uh, engagement. Uh, for for every project we think about who who is the community we should speak to 
and then we proactively uh, uh, reach out. Yeah. And you have also the conversations with them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is it, and do you do you use a certain method uh, for 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 the conversation? Um. No. It would depend for the. It depends on the project. Okay. Yeah. But not one method that we that we go to. Mm. Okay. Thank you uh, for this input. Okay, and it, of course it's it's very important. Uh, and then we have the last uh, uh, question: Is uh, what are your key findings from this uh, session? Go, oh, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> Please, uh, yeah, because we are almost uh, quarter to uh, uh, quarter to four, so please share your key findings, your experience, uh, um, um, whatever you want to share about uh, about uh, this uh, session. Maybe of the exercise. Or the exercise. Mm -hmm. First, it's all. It was also an experiment. So. Yeah. Feel free to say whatever, to speak up. If you don't like it, say, I didn't like it. If you like it, I liked it. If you say, hey, this was really an insight, share it. And if you want to read more about uh, the, the principles, because we have to go through them quite quickly, uh, then uh, I will share the links in the chat. Uh, I will do that now quickly for the note and for and the framework that we've written. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's also interesting, uh, we also did an inventory of uh, ethical frameworks and we have uh, 13 frameworks uh, compared to each other. So that's for you, uh, if you want, if you, are, if you are, have ethics in your, uh, uh, in your work, uh, you can use that. Uh, Okay, thank yeah. you, uh, Emily. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was going to sit back and <laughs> and <I was laughs> yeah, 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 Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's also with ethics, eh? because, yeah, it, in, indeed, it's a very nice, the third one. Uh, do you sit back yeah. and listen, well, tell me what to do? But it's it's instead of that it's 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 you uh, which has to stand up and to speak up and to to, to feel what's going on and if you if you're doubting please uh, please please share it. So okay, it's a quarter to four. Uh, congratulations uh, for sharing and for uh, for contributing to the, to this uh, um, uh, session. Uh, you were a great uh, audience. Uh, you are now an, uh, an ethics leader, and uh, well, we hope uh, to see you uh, again uh, next year. Uh, yeah. So, so thank you uh, very much. If you have any questions, please share them in the chat. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We would have loved to have um, uh, given you a certificate, maybe next time. <laughs> Nice t-shirts, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> thank you, Austin. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Gail. Is it okay if I end the recording and we yeah. can still leave the session open for, for a minute or two for more... Yeah, now um, to open Belgium a digital